Welcome back to another tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how I did this very cool zoom in transition by myself and you can even save it and use it in every project you wanted to have. So the first step you need two clips. I've got mine ready here. Then go over here to the effects tab, go to effects and select an adjustment clip. Now this adjustment clip needs to be 20 frames. Then we're going to drag this adjustment clip exactly into the middle of these two clips. So now we're going to create this zoom effect. Open this adjustment clip in the fusion page, hit shift and spacebar to open up this window and type in transform. That's the only node you need. Now we're on the first frame and here we're going to set a keyframe and on the last frame we're also going to set a keyframe. Now our second clip starts here on the 10th frame. So on the ninth frame we're going to adjust the size to 1.5, press enter and on the next frame here when the second clip starts we turn the size back to 0.6 and now you see it's too small but that's perfect because we want the clip to come against us. When you go here to edges go to the drop down and make mirror so we have this like mirror effect. Then go over here to settings, motion blur, adjust the quality for around 6 and the shutter angle around 250. You can adjust this for yourself how you like it. For me it works very well like that. So and now the magic happens down here in the splines. If you don't see the splines go up here click on splines and they are enabled. Select all keyframes and press S to smoothen them. Go here to this little icon, zoom to fit and you have a better view. This curve is very important. We want the transition to start very slow and then go very fast and very slow again. So just drag this one all the way here, this one all the way to the middle like so and this one make it really short and edgy and this one too. So the transition goes very slow then very fast and very slow again and that's all. Then go back to the edit page and it looks like this. And if you're happy with your transition just drag it over into your power bins and you have access in every project you have. If you want to know what power bins are just check out the video down in the description, I've made a tutorial for that.